was crazy. I don't think I did a very good job tracking, but I did like 80 bazillion points worth of exercise. I'm not going to lie. I had, uh, as you can see, maybe, well, not really, but um, I am sunburnt. Um, you can't really tell. Maybe it's fading away a little bit. But I was bright red on Saturday after dancing in the sun. I had a Disney event to do like at Farmington Bank in Connecticut. It was a long drive there to dance without many kids for about four hours. So I'm dancing like a fool. There really wasn't much to do other than dance like a fool. So I definitely burned a lot off. <laughs> I was sweating like crazy. Not only that was the first nice day we've had here in New England in a while. Uh, this week it's at least it's not raining right now but it has a chance of rain and it's still kind of icky out. It's really muggy today and it's hot. So one of the things though I did get at my fun event this weekend was a cow. See? He is adorable. I am going to eat you. Ow. Actually, that's probably not really a good idea. But he's a very cute. Ooh. He's gonna haunt you in your dreams. So, I did pretty well this week for food until I hit the weekend. The weekend was horrible. Um, because of the Disney stuff, it's really difficult to judge when to eat because you can't eat during the show. So at about 10 o'clock or so, I ate a salad, a chicken salad, um, had part of a sandwich probably about halfway through the show uh, because the bank people were like, here you go. And it was really good. Had some cotton candy before we left because I had cotton candy, fried dough, you know, all this stuff. And good thing that I was not able to get the fried dough because I'm sure that would have been delicious and extremely high in points. So, went with the cotton candy instead. And Betsy, as for you, you and your cotton candy. It was blue. It made me turn blue. It was great. And that night, though, I was starving since, you know, you. it was a good maybe, you know, six, seven hours or something like that before I could eat again. And so when I got home, I ended up making sausage links on the grill and potatoes and stuff. And I ended up eating a bunch of carbs and not so healthy um, sausage. Same thing happened on Sunday. On Sunday, though, I had a cereal in the morning and a cereal bar. And that was it. So when I got home, I was like, yes, food. And I ate way too much so crazy. Crazy. Ugh, I'm sweating to death see see that's a good thing you get your workout without even doing anything because you're just sitting here in the hot and you're just sweating buckets okay it's not that bad but still it feels really icky he's gonna haunt you in your dreams I know what I can do for a recipe. It's more of a snack, actually. So let's do this. Today is going to be snacking. Okay, as far as snacking goes, this is one of my favorite machines. It is a popcorn maker. Don't mind the geisha on the side here. So pretty much what I do to make the popcorn is you want to use about a tablespoon of oil. Now... I use less than that normally. Not sure if you can see. It's just really enough to kind of coat the bottom of the little pan thing. And because I don't really like to use a lot of oil. So there that goes. Alright, we've got the oil. Now we have the popcorn here. And just measure out a third of a cup. And we dump it in here. Okay, so while that is popping there in the background, I'm going to show you, um, I call this my pizza popcorn. Basically, I take about, we'll say half a teaspoon of Parmesan cheese. So we got a Parmesan cheese here, and 
screwed it just so it's, that way it's easier to put in. We'll put half a teaspoon, or sorry, half a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. And you do a sprinkle of garlic powder. You can hear that popcorn going in the oil. So a sprinkle of garlic powder and a sprinkle of oregano. And in the kitchen right now, I do have some light margarine melting. I just kind of mix that together. And then when the popcorn's all done popping, then I'll be able to add that on. You can see there's some action going on. It's getting a lot of seeds, actually. So my popcorn is all popped. I'm going to dump that into this bowl here. Got all the popcorn in the bowl, and I melted two tablespoons worth of light margarine. Pour over it here. Now, you don't have to use margarine if you don't like to. I just like to make it um, so that way it, this mixture sticks a little bit better. And then you just sprinkle on the mixture of the garlic, oregano, and parmesan cheese. And there you go. If you want to add some color to it, you can put some paprika on it. I don't have any paprika, so instead what I'm going to do is I'll sprinkle on some red crushed peppers here. I like spicy, so I'll sprinkle a little bit on there. And voila! You have yourself some, um, what I would call pizza popcorn. Well, I didn't get to film yesterday. It was a crazy day. Um, been trying to deal with some work related stuff and financial related stuff. Um, and sadly, as of June 6th, I don't think I'll be able to go to my meetings anymore after that. So, but I am going to still do it online and I'll still do my vlogs. So I'm thinking tonight I'm going to drag you guys with me over to my meeting. So today you're exactly the same. Good news, bad news, good news. Yeah, up or down. See, so we're good. All right, we can stop. So as you guys heard from Linda, that I stayed the same, which is a good thing versus uh, being, you know, up. I'd rather be steady than up. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm gonna go edit this in just a few minutes, and you guys will be watching me. So I'll see you in a while. This is Jelly Puff of Doom signing out.
he's gonna haunt you in your dreams.